Well, that's an interesting little start. Hello there, everybody. I am Subbottom92AK Nightmare, and welcome to a Let's Play of the Sandman. From what I understand, this takes place, um, I think it's it's part of the Crooked Man series, so it's the Crooked Man, uh, the Sandman, then the Boogeyman, and then finally the Hanged Man, I believe. So I'm guessing that's the chronological order. I'm pretty sure that's the chronological order. If I fucked up, I'm pretty sure I'll find out soon. But anyway, first off, thumbnail, thanks to Skydiving Quagga. Uh, second, I don't know what I'm going to get myself into. As much as I loved The Crooked Man for Soba Spooktober, because of that, it solidified that I wanted to do the rest of these games as their own little thing, rather than wait till, you know, Spooktober to come around. Which, by the way, we're still trying to figure out what game we want to do for Spooktober. Which, we'll figure it out. Anyway, well, um, let's get started. You don't need to blink at me like that. Okay. This is a horror game. It contains scares and grotesque content, so refrain from playing it if you feel you can't handle it. Please adhere to the following rules to prevent trouble. If these rules conflict with the rules of the other side, there are some side to priority. Please check. No repurposing resources. No redistribution of game files. Do not cut the end credits from videos of the game. Check the author's site for more information. Acknowledge that the author takes no responsibility for any trouble caused by the use of this software. Okay. Quiet, dear. Not another word. There's nothing to worry about. It's only a monster moaning in the closet. <laughs> Just kidding. Hmm? You're still not sleepy, are you? Then I'll tell you a scary story. The oh-so-terrifying story of the Sandman. Hmm? Now, whose perspective am I playing as? Sophie. <sighs> Morning already. Sophie Grundler. Okay. About the same stuff here. Okay, cell phone. A notebook you always carry. Very well then. Standing lamp. I won't lie, it feels good to be back into this kind of style of video game. The can contains a few pieces of trash. Photos of a teen pop star. The desk clock ticks on. Uh. Oh, school uniform. Okay. Your favorite teddy bear. Just washed, so he's nice and fluffy. Got a stuffed teddy bear? I got a stuffed wobble bed next to my bed. And now there's also a stuffed glitch plushie in my... Got that, though. Hmm. The closet is full of clothes. A bag of kept in here, too. I'm guessing I'm a student? A small bookshelf features some teen magazines. Adorned with picture of mom. Hmm. Okay. A pot with a burnt bottom on the stove. There's still bread in the toaster. Oh yeah, I forgot to toast it yesterday. Might want to do that. Bit of kitchen waste. Sink. A refrigerator, not much food inside. <laughs> no notes whatsoever, cupboard. A TV, it's been used for a long time. Yeah, it's still the box TV too. A note. Dear Sophie, Papa will be staying at work for a while. I've left you money to take care of yourself with. Lock the doors and don't leave the stove on. Also, uh, Sister Mary from the school called for me to see her. Uh, did you do something bad? I'm too busy to go, so tell her for me. Hmm. Now, who am I the daughter of? Am I the daughter of the protagonist in the last game? And Hmm. I wonder how long this takes place in the future, or where this takes place, because I think this is a similar layout to the room that we had back then. 
I think it is. Hmm? The computer is in sleep mode. Mine's not. A photo of mom. Lots of stuff for dad's work on the shelves. Is he like a doctor? Hmm. Psychologist, maybe? Trash can is full of paper waste. Work stuff, probably. Small traveling bag. Dad always takes it on business trips. Dad's closet. Both suits and casual clothes. Dress shirt and pants. Okay. I was wondering why I couldn't get out there, because I paused. Wash basin. There's a stock of detergent on the shelves. Toilet. Party wash, shampoo, etc. The mirror is slightly dirty. Well, we should probably clean that in a bathtub. There are clothes in the washing machine. Seems like mostly dads. Yeah, maybe. The shoe shelf has sneakers and pumps. A shoe shelf. Dad's other boots are here. Oh. <laughs> now we're in class. Regan? Reg Regan. Hey, Sophie, you got a painter at your house? Because, man, that hair. How do you get that row without a paint spill being involved? Now, hold on, Rig, and maybe she lives near a hot dog vendor and mistook the ketchup for shampoo. Wow. Fuck you. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Is this the part where I kill them? Miss Grundler, are you here? You must be the sister? Yes. I want to talk. Come to my room at once. It's an... Oh, the, oh I noticed there's like... No male looking sprites, so I'm assuming this must be one of those schools. It's an all girls school, and it's kind of attached to a church if memory serves, so. Um. Hmm. Interesting to say the least. What are you doing, Klutz? Hurry up. You're so slow. Seriously. <laughs> Not worth my time. Hmm? Freaking bitches. Sophie? Um, about Regan. Try not to let it get to you. They're not worth responding to anyway. It's fine. I wonder why Regan teases you so much. It must be hard just being her. I'm the only outlet for her stress. Um, well, I'm on your side, okay, Sophie? How nice, Anne. You're always, um, watching me. Well, we're friends. I... I don't really have any friends but you. I need to see Sister Mary. See you later. Okay. Bye. Anne. Hmm. Okay. Come in. Welcome, Miss Grundler. Please take a seat. Yes, Sister Mary. Miss Grundler, you showed great improvement on your last exam. I'm truly moved by your diligence. You've always been a calm model student. I'm hoping to see you keep it up. I'll have to tell the principal as well. Thank you very much. By the way, Miss Grundler, have you resolved what we discussed before? Did we talk? My, did you forget? You told me you were worried about your recent lack of sleep. Oh, yeah. So I did. I I'm sorry, I I'm spacing out. I... I forgot. Hmm. It's no good. I I, I just can't sleep. I, I get in bed and try to doze off, but I just find myself up until morning. How long have you been sleepless? As of last night, maybe about ten days. Sorry, I... I can't really remember that either. 
Oh my, have you gone to the hospital? No. My dad's busy, so I don't want to worry him. And it would cost money. I see. I wanted to talk to your father myself, but it seems that's not at his convenience. I think I'll be able to sleep soon. Please, don't worry about it. Excuse me. It's time for worship. This is a religious school. All-girls school. Are you praying? For what? Pray to the Lord before you sleep. The teachers never miss a day. Perhaps you should try it. It may calm you down and allow you to sleep. I see. Excuse me. Difficulty sleeping. Why is light given to those in misery, and life to the bitter of soul? To those who long for death that does not come, who search for it more than for hidden treasure? Who are filled with gladness and rejoice when they reach the grave? Why is life given to a man whose way is hidden, whom God has hedged in? For sighing has become my daily food, my groans pour out like water. What I feared has come upon me, what I dreaded has happened to me. I have no peace, no quietness, I have no rest, but only turmoil. Job was an odd man honest and adoring justice, but as we all know that does not ensure that disaster will not befall us, yes? Through calamity he saw the truth, the truth that not everything can go swimmingly, though you may be too young to have such experience. Trust in the ways of the Lord and endure your hardship. Just as the Son of God had faith in man and bore suffering, that is what gives us greater merit. So ends my sermon now. Let us pray. Hmm. So that has always made me curious, like, how these schools function. I mean, whether they're good or bad or fuck, I don't know. Because lately, whenever it comes to media, usually those schools are portrayed in like some of the worst light sometimes where there's rampant bullying. And this can go for an all boys school or an all girls school. But it's just like media always seems to portray that where it's mostly a negative experience. Do I have anybody in my audience that kind of went to an all gendered school like this that was kind of attached to religion or just an all gendered school in general i'm just i'm legitimately curious and i'd like to hear what everybody else you know kind of give me enlighten me a little bit about the experience if possible oh by the way i've also brewed myself some tea specifically for a game like this because i know what i'm getting myself into kind of if it's anything like the hanged man or i'm sorry the crooked man damn it Ugh. i should shower and get to bed Right? That toast is still in there. Or that bread's still in there. No reason to go outside. Oh. God, I look awful. Bags under my eyes, the works. Because I haven't slept for days, I'm sure. Why can't I sleep? I just want to sleep soon. There's something keeping you awake. Potentially family or... I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Oh, by the way, um, I am going for a more serious feminine voice for her. So... Kind of what I'm doing. A prayer before bed, huh? Didn't I always do that when Mom was here? Now I lay me down to sleep. The Lord I pray my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake, the Lord I pray my soul to take.
stupid. If that could put me to sleep, there'd be no, no trouble. Now, would there? Something's... weird. What happened to the clock? It stopped. The wall clock stopped at midnight. Weird. I just changed the battery. Is it broken or what? This clock stopped at 12 too. What's this about? Excuse me? It's... it's the old guy from next door. What happened here? He's... he's sleeping? Why out in the hall in the dead of night? Wait, maybe... Oh, oh, did he trip and hit his head? Oh no, I have to call an ambulance. Why won't they answer? It's a 911 call! If I can't get through to them, what am I supposed to glean from that? Oh, I need to go tell his wife. Excuse me, I'm the Grundler girl from next door. Your husband's fainted in the hall. Excuse me? Are you in there, miss? It's not locked, it's wide open. Miss? Miss Skidda, please, what happened? She... She's asleep too? What's going on? Something's weird here for sure. It's usually pretty noisy at night. Why is it so quiet tonight? The Sandman hath cometh? Pot. Cupboard. Shouldn't go in here. Shouldn't go in here. I'm sort of breaking in as it is. Well, if it were my house, it would be my room, but I, I shouldn't go in here. Alright, one thing that I learned from last time. Always save. Another person asleep on the ground? Why are they all sleeping like that? What the hell is happening? Sister, did you just say hell? Is... Is there anyone else awake? Well, we'll have to look around. Cafe's locked up. Hmm? Map of the town. Got a town map. Okay, we got a lot right now. Let's see, 7 and 12, Enfield Heights. Lauren Catholic, oh, Lauren Catholic Private High School. Okay, so it was Catholic, okay. Because usually you only hear about Catholic high schools. Like, you don't really hear about Christian high schools or stuff like that. It's just, again, media portrayal. Catholic seems to be incredibly popular for high schools, you know what I mean? I don't know, Maybe I, maybe I'm just imagining things, I don't know. I might be just talking out of my ass because I, or just talking ignorant because I just don't know. You know what I mean? Okay, so you see what we got here. West Heights, J.P. Jordan Chase & Co., Ferdinand Apartment, Brendan Foods Incorporated, Blum, Blumberg Mall, Gershwin Royal Hotel. Ooh, we got a lot here. But where are we right now? Okay, here's the cafe. Uh, the cafe is... Doesn't really say. Can we think of it? Where are we on this map? Hmm. A car for a company called Safety Guard. Restaurant locked up tight. There's the bank locked up. Damn it! Here I was hoping I could I can freaking steal shit. 
I'm gonna vandalize. No, that's a hospital. Oh, shit. Resting peacefully. I don't even want to go near a hospital at night. Yeesh. Yeah, hospital. Yeah, that is, yeah, I completely understand that. I just realized it's raining outside. Water fountain. Where I'm at, at least. Oh, well. Bookstore. Uh. Nope. Lined with reference and language books. Lined with practical books. Register. Is it okay to leave the door wide open when there's a cash register here? No, it's not. Flowers! Lined with travel magazines and guide books. Pile of new books. A book lays on the floor. The vengeance of hell boils in my heart. Death and despair flame about me. If Sarastro does not through the you feel the pain of death, then you will be my daughter nevermore. Disowned may you be forever, abandoned may you be forever, destroyed be forever all the bonds of nature. If not through you, Sarastro becomes pale, hear, gods of revenge, hear a mother's oath. I think I've read this before. The magic flute, was it? The magic flute. Ads for new publications and such. Wow, children books. Ding. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about what the fuck happened there. Damn it. Okay. Oh. Okay, this just gets weirder and weirder. All the people I've seen are asleep on the street. What in the world is going on? Sophie? <gasps> oh, so it is you. Dude! D David? David, why are you here? I was doing overtime. Then, when I left to go home, things looked weird. It's like everyone just fell asleep on the spot. Got worried, so I took a look around, and then I found you. You okay, Sophie? Not hurt or anything? Nah, I'm fine, but I... I have no clue how this happened. Yeah, me neither. Why would everybody hit the hay? I wonder if we're the only ones awake. Who can say? Maybe some are awake inside. I'll go look to see. You want to come with me? Uh, sure. Oh, hold on. Hmm? What? My friend. M my friend Anne. She lives in the dorms at school. You want to see her? If Anne's awake, I'm sure she's scared, s since she's pretty timid. I, uh, I want to go look for her. Well, friends are important after all. I'll go with you. It's good to see you again, David. You can't, David. It's an all-girls school. Oh, right. Catholic school. Yeah, uh, no boys allowed, huh? Except, n no, because seriously, that doesn't matter right now. It could be dangerous. Let me go with you. I'm fine. I can do it myself. I go there every day. It's not like I get lost. All right, all right. If you insist. Fine, on your own, huh? I'll look around elsewhere and we'll meet up later. Come to the park once you find your friend, okay? Yeah, got it. Sophie! Don't do anything rash. If anything happened to you, I... You know. Damn, David. Achievement unlocked, the Crooked Man. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, it's good to see him, my dude. 
Oh, yeah. All right. Goody, goody gumdrops. Resting peacefully. Hmm. Apartments locked up tight. Okay, so let me consult the map here. Okay, so it's telling us where we need to go. We need to go to the Lorin Clathric. We need to go all the way to the lower left. Wait, hold on. What's this billboard say over here? Bulletin board for the apartments. Um, anything else around here? Candy store. Uh, I love the ice cream here. Maybe I can get a sample if I go in. Maybe not the time. Yeah, let's avoid that, Sophie. Let's avoid that. Electronically locked. Uh, help me! Today's special is lasagna full of cheese and veggies. Hmm. That sounds good. Resting peacefully. Bar bar! Bar bar shop. That's a bar where you bar buy bars for your... Wait. Let's not think about that. Is this it? Lorraine Catholic Private High School. There we go. The latch on the inside keeps the gate firmly shut. Damn it. Not going to be open, of course. It's the middle of the night. Would I be able to get over this wall? Maybe I can find a ladder somewhere. Okay, so we got to go find a ladder. Where, oh, where? What, oh. Don't leave me. Beer garden. Maybe I wasn't paying attention and I just lost sight of it, but that's probably where it was. Cafe do maggot. Or cafe do do mago. The chocolate cake here is delicious. Fuck, stop doing that. Stop at 12. Midnight. It's like a staff room. It's locked. Damn it. Hmm. Where, oh, where am I going to find a ladder? Hmm? Whatever it is, I can't examine it. Gershwin Royal Hotel. Damn it. Okay, where does this take me? Back over here. All right, I'm gonna look around a little bit more. A building with no doors? Really? And smoke. Ticket machines, power's on, but they're not responding. Root map. Damn it, okay. Well, so much for that. For some reason I couldn't go over that way because it was blocked off. Okay, may as well keep looking. First we'll find a ladder somewhere. Church. Damn it. Is there like, maybe, hmm. Maybe if it wants me to look around here, it might be around here, so I should probably actively look around this area. Um, what do you even call these spinny things? I don't know! Water fountain. That's a well. That's where terrible families from horror movies drop off their kids. There we go. I've acquired a ladder. Goody, goody, gum drops. I got a ladder. Now then, I can pull vault over this area. Oh, crap. That is not what I meant to do. I could probably get in by using the ladder to climb over. Okay. Although, once I get over it, I can't get out unless I find some way to unlock that door. There we go. Hacker voice, I'm in. <laughs> Won't open. Hmm. How can I get in?
What's this? There's a shovel stuck in the flower bed. Wait, do I need to break it open? Man, should I really? Well, this A is an emergency. Yeah! I'm sorry, Sister Mary. It's the only way to get in. The classrooms are all locked, I'm sure. I'll check the dorms for Anne. The dorms, huh? Bulletin board. It has a Bible verse posted up. You said, listen now and I will speak. You, I will question you and you shall answer me. Hmm. I know they're all classrooms, but I want to look anyway. Staff room. Okay, so I, there's what the staff room is. More classrooms. More classrooms. Okay, hallway. What's this door? The cafeteria. Okay. Staff and cafeteria. Got it. Dorm room. Dorm room. And... Hello? Oops. <gasps> Wait. Okay, I keep skipping the dialogue by accident. A desk. Bookshelf. Contains textbooks and magazines. Contains uniforms, lounge wear, and casual clothes. That's a roommate on the top bunk, but why isn't Anne here? She didn't say she was going home. Is she somewhere in the school? But almost every room is locked. That's it! The chapel! It's never locked so people can pray any time. Maybe she could be there. The chapel? What? Was there something there? Is something there achievement? Hmm. Let's not talk about it. Floor. Music room. This floor. What's this? Music and room and library. Okay. I'll try to keep that in memorized. Okay. Bible. There's a bookmark in it. Like a slave longing for the evening shadows or a hired laborer waiting to be paid. So I've been allotted months of utility, and nights of misery have been assigned to me. When I lie down, I think, how long before I get up? The night drags on, and I toss and turn until the evening. Anne, you're okay! Sophie, why are you here? Things are weird in town. Everyone fell over and conked out, so I got worried about you. Come on, Anne, let's get out of here. There's a friend of mine waiting outside. Who knows what's going on, but we should stick together. No! I won't go! Why not? No, 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 I'm scared. They'll, they'll chase me again. They? C come on, Anne. I, I, it's fine. I didn't see any weird people. What? Look, this friend of mine is a guy you can trust. He'll protect you even if there are weirdos. So, yeah, come on, c come with me. David is, he's, I, I assure you, he's probably become a much stronger person after the events of the Crooked Man. Okay. Ah! What? Where are you going, little Miss Liar? Oh, no, not again! Oh. Running away again, are we? You really are such a liar. Liars must be punished. What's with you? Get away from Anne! Why? She's a liar, isn't she? A liar is a bad thing to be. So they must be punished. Why is she being referred to as a liar is the real question here. 
there might be a potential theory here. Like, maybe she's been spreading rumors about Sophie, potentially? The kind of... Because... Here's a theory. What if she was a bully victim, but to get them off of her back, she kind of threw Sophie a little bit under the bus, while also trying to be there to be as an emotional support. The sad part is, it has happened before. So... Maybe that's why she's being referred to as a liar. I don't have a clue what you mean. Just get away from Anne. Now! She's my friend! I see. Are you a liar too? Huh? Liars need punishment. Yes. Extreme punishment. So, we'll become liars ourselves. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, they're all female, though. Oh, this already gives me a bit of an idea. Resentment taking the, the form of these spirits, potentially. No! And... Hey, where'd you take Anne? Hmm? Who knows? You should give back Anne. Where'd she go? Why don't you look for her? What? Go take a look. Find your... Friend. Oh, but you have plenty of time. Yeah. Anne! Oh boy, here we go. Search for Anne. Oh crap, I only got three minutes. Okay. Uh. Okay, so she's not in here. Hey! I saw her on this floor. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh crap. She's on the third floor. Damn it, they're all, they're all liars. She's not on this floor. She's not on the third floor. She ran from the school. I saw her. No, she's still inside the school. No need to rush. It's fine. Yeah, they're all lying to me. She's on this first floor. Okay. Here... She's not even close to here. Look somewhere further. No, she's here. Push box. Get out of here. Fucking knew it. Liar. You're an unbelievable liar. How can you lie with such a straight face? You should just disappear. Ah, she found out. Anne, are you okay? They didn't do anything weird to you? Sophie? Good. Guess you're not hurt. Anne, let's get out of here now. I'm not sure what's going on. I just know it's weird. Get up, Anne. They might come back if we don't hurry. Yeah. What? Liar. What are they? Oh. No! Wait, Anne, don't go, it's dangerous! No, 
No more. I'm going home. Let me go home. Anne! Let go! Ow. Sorry, Sophie. I I was scared. Um Anne! Why? After I find you, you just run away? <clears throat> Forget about Anne. Go cower all alone if you want. Okay. A little bit of a theory here. A little bit of a theory here. Resentment. Calling people liars. Are these a result of Sophie? Or are they a result of Anne? Or, maybe let's think back a little bit here. In The Crooked Man, the spirit of The Crooked Man was that of a young man who had hung himself, and it attached itself to David because of very, very similar feelings that David was going through. What if we have another situation where somebody died at this school because of, well, lying? And this time, what if it attached itself to Sophie? Or, it might have attached itself to Anne. But, no, maybe? Hmm. Let's just find out. Crates containing ingredients. Refrigerator. Now I can explore a little bit. Cupboard. Plates and cookware lie on the racks. Refrigerator. Flour bowl and a bowl left out. Bowl and a whisk. Rolling pin. Brown pepper. Scales. Stove. I'm in charge now. I smell glass-sided refrigerator. Contains drinks for sale. Water dispenser. They have all this at a Catholic school? Goddamn. Cafeteria menu. It's a picture of pizza. Delicious. Bev a BLT. Curry. Omelette rice. Mindstr- This place has a lot of different, like, this, this place actually has good, uh, you know, variety. What strength do I have that I should still hope? What prospects that I should be patient? Job 611. All the doors are open now. Every room has, like, their own little bathroom. That's the student that we already... No, no, no. So many sleeping students. They're all asleep. Let me check this one. Regardless, I'm gonna look for. Let me see. Isn't that one of the students that was that was uh, harassing Sophie? Organ. Yes, it is. It is most certainly an organ. Hmm. All of those ghostly students are gone. Okay. Any other value in here? Alright. Is it time for me to actually leave this school, though, is the question. But... I can look in these other rooms now. Clock hands are stopped at 12. At least there is hope for a tree. It is cut down, it'll sprout again. And it's new. Shoots will not fail. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I'm still trying to piece together this whole thing about these students, or these spirits, becoming liars, and their focus on stuff like lying. It's interesting. Okay, so we're now, okay, let's just go, let's go. Flashback? So you solve it like that, got it? Oh, I see, that makes sense. You really are smart, Sophie. I can't even do my own homework. I'm envious. You're always so calm and mature and smart. And you're even really nice, too. And if it were me Regan was bullying, I don't think I'd be brave enough to come to school. 
I wish I could be more like you, Sophie. The teachers always say you try your best, Anne. And I have to agree. You're way better than me. I'm sorry, Sophie, for never saving you from Regan and her bullies. Hide and seek. Hmm. Maybe. These spirits have some sort of connection, whatever the hell they are, to Anne and Sophie. Because again, there was like a little bit of envy put there. So maybe there is some actual resentment attached to Anne. I mean, granted, Anne and Sophie, I guess they both have their own reasons for this sort of resentment. I just want to help. But I'm too scared, so I just watch. I'm really so sorry. Look, I don't mind at all, so you shouldn't either, Anne. I'm just... I'm happy being together like this. Thanks. You're my best friend, Sophie. Sophie! Or is it David? Sophie! Oh, David. Um, found anyone else awake? Nope. No good. I checked the hospital and hotel, but not a single open eye. Hmm. What about your friend, Sophie? Didn't find her? No, well, I did, but she ran off. Ran? What do you mean, ran? Um, I have a feeling you're not going to believe me, David. Sophie, I got chased by the spirit of a man who had committed suicide with a crooked neck. I'm pretty sure you'll be fine. Strange red shadows? What could that have been? I haven't seen anything odd. D do you believe me? Well, it's not a lie, is it? I know you're not a lying type. Thanks, but I wonder what's up with this. No one's awake and those weird shadows. Yeah, this isn't exactly normal, huh? But doesn't mean we can necessarily do anything. Hmm. I'm going to have to keep looking for others. Maybe I'll find some sort of resolution. Sylvie, come with me this time. Like I told you, it's too dangerous. But, I mean, it's it's not very efficient to go door-to-door -to -door together in such a big town, is it? Don't you think splitting up would be faster? I swear, I'm fine by myself. I said no! I can't let you go alone. Who knows what could happen? I'm, I'm, it's fine. I'm only trouble, I'll, I'd only trouble you, David. I'm going. I'd feel a lot safer having you with me than you getting into danger out of sight. Fine. Can you at least tell me where you'll search? I was thinking of checking the West End. It might be that the people still awake are all gathered together, so I'll check Bloomberg Mall. Ah, I gotcha. But try to stay out of danger, okay? Come back to this park as soon as you're done. Yeah, got it. Okay, we got our mission.